Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Excellency, the Ambassador of Japan, Mr. Wada Itsuhiro-san, uh, Honorable Inspector General of Police, uh, Mr. Mazam Jansari, Honorable Resident Representative of UNDP, Mr. Knut Ostby, uh, dear guests, colleagues, and friends, a, ve a very good afternoon to you all. On behalf of Khaiba uh, Pukhtunkhwa Police, uh, I welcome you all to this launching ceremony uh, of the policing plans of the, for the newly merged districts, which have been formulated as a joint effort by the government of Japan, the UNDP, and Khyber Pukhtunkhwa Police. Before I delve into the challenges faced by police in the newly merged districts uh, and the need for developing these policing plans, a brief background of the erstwhile FATA would give everyone a better perspective of the present situation. Uh, FATA uh, owes its existence to the British control of the Pashtun areas after the Second Anglo-Sikh War of 1849. The British formed a bifurcated frontier with Afghanistan, an administrative one in the cultivated plains and to which their authority extended, and a political one in the mountainous terrains to which their colonial empire extended. So in fact, FATA was a frontier of the frontier. For such reasons, the area was given a separate system of self-governance based on traditional tribal laws. A skeletal criminal justice system was also established by empowering the political agents with the executive and judicial authority through the Frontier Crimes Regulations of 1872. This system was based on the principle of collective responsibility. With time, the vacuum created by the non-existence of a robust law enforcement system stagnated social and economic development, resulting in lack of opportunities for the locals. People therefore turned to alternate means of livelihood. Many migrated to urban centers, including the Gulf states. But sadly, many more found employment in criminal enterprises, especially smuggling, establishing a thriving black market, which still is there. These places also provided a perfect safe haven, not only for individual criminals, but for organized criminal gangs, narco syndicates, and subsequently for non-state actors and terrorist organizations, as we can see in these newly merged districts. If we look at the current security landscape of the whole country, we will notice that places with such peripheral legal systems are or were in the grip of lawlessness, organized crime, and of militancy. These newly merged districts and even Balochistan are prime examples. Now the conversion of these tribal areas into settled districts has provided more than five million citizens of the NMDs the same legal and constitutional rights as the rest of the country. These people will have access to modern law enforcement, which will in time not only deny space to the criminal enterprises, but lead to a more conducive environment for social and economic sectors to develop. To this end, KP Police has formulated the following objectives and goals for itself. First, naturally, is to protect the life, liberty, and property of the citizens. Secondly, to establish police structures and units. Thirdly, to introduce investigative and record maintenance practices as with other police organizations. And finally, to enhance the capacity of the policemen, the former Hasadas and levies. These objectives also provide the basic framework for the policing plans, and it is pertinent to mention that even before these plans were given a final shape, we had been striving towards these goals since 2019. And with the help of our esteemed friends like the government of Japan, and the UNDP. Our initial focus areas has been building capacity of the police in the NMDs in terms of development of infrastructure, provision of resources, and training of more than 26,000 policemen, the former Khasadas and Levis, who form the rudimentary law enforcement apparatus of the defunct system. At the same time, we must understand the difficulties that 
our teams face in terms of resistance to change, resistance to new ideas, even from within the police in, in the NMDs, the erstwhile khasadas and levies, their unionization, and many beneficiaries of the previous system as well. Dear colleagues, this is specifically for us. We may have made these plans, but we have many a mile to go before we reach our aims and objectives. But I'm sure that these policing plans will provide us a very clear roadmap for achieving the targets. In the end, I would like to thank the whole team, especially uh, Mr. Idris Hayat, for their untiring efforts and research in preparing these wonderful documents. I thank you all.